Hello, my name is Dr. Bob Finn, and I'm the Director of Research and Development for INAFAS. Today, I'd like to talk to you about chelated minerals and some of the confusion about these products. Not all chelated minerals are the same, and the differences can be critical. I'll discuss INAFAS's approach to prove chelation with our brand Kelamax and why it's the best in the industry. Thanks for joining me today. The key messages that I'd like you to take away from the presentation today are, what are the advantages of a chelated mineral? How do you know if your minerals are chelated? The need for additional testing on these minerals, and INAFAS's three-step process to prove chelation. Minerals are an important part to a balanced diet and vital to numerous bodily functions. During the COVID-19 pandemic, we've seen more and more people turn to supplements to boost their overall health and wellness. You can see from the list on this slide, they provide many benefits and over 300 metabolic functions. Magnesium is known for cognitive benefits and heart health, selenium an antioxidant, zinc immune function. These are not just health benefits, but lifestyle improvements too, like sleep, calming, and stress reduction. I'll begin today with describing chelation. Traditional mineral sources like oxides and salts have high potency, which allows for a high percentage of dosing. However, they tend to be poorly soluble, which leads to poor bioaccessibility. Chelated minerals, on the other hand, have increased bioavailability, greater stability, an improved taste and an overall positive safety profile. So what is a chelated mineral? Well, it begins with having ligands and a mineral salt. When these two are reacted together, the ligands can bond to the mineral salt in two positions. When that occurs, a ring is formed. You can see that drawn on the right side. When that ring is formed, it's known as a chelate. When these ligands bond, they form a stable structure and they create sort of a protective shell around that mineral center. The structure is stable throughout the GI tract, which allows for greater bioaccessibility in the small intestine where minerals are absorbed. The problem today with chelated minerals is a lack of clarity of the industry. So how do you know what you're buying? If we take three samples of similar magnesium supplements, you can see they all have the same potency of 11.7%. However, if we're to look a little more closely, sample A would be fully reacted, sample B might be some partial reaction, and sample C might just be a simple unreacted dry blend. However, all three are labeled the same as a magnesium source of 11.7%. How can we tell the difference between these three samples? FTIR, an infrared spectroscopy test, is commonly used to analyze samples in the mineral space. However, as you can see, there are differences in the pattern, but it's not enough to offer conclusive proof of chelation in sample A. It'll show that the product is consistent, but it won't let you know the product is chelated. There's clearly a need for additional testing. So let's take a look at this in a different way. Let's use an example of understanding your ancestry. Where did you come from? My parents always said I was half French and half Italian. So I've thought I'm 50% Italian and 50% French. This is a consistent account of my ancestry, but is it correct? These days you can take a test and find out. So if I were to take a test and my results came out as this, 44% Italian, 37% British, 19% German, well, that's DNA proof of my ancestry. And it would have to make me rethink that 50-50 Italian French that I've been told my whole life. So if we apply the same logic here to FTIR, infrared spectroscopy, 
It's very similar to having a person-to-person -person account of your ancestry. You'll, you'll hear a consistent message. The FTIR will show whether there's consistency or not. However, you need further testing to confirm whether it's true. In our DNA example, we sent out for a test and we found out the results were a little different. In the case of our magnesium supplement that we used earlier, we have to use further testing to try to reveal what's really going on in that product. And so we've added a few tests, XRD and TGA. Testing at the molecular level will confirm the true product composition, much like the DNA test would confirm your true, D, your true ancestry. Transparency here is power. So let's talk about Inafasa's three-step process to prove chelation, not just FTIR, but XRD and TGA as well. Additional testing confirms the true product. How do we know what the actual structure of the molecule is? How do we know the ligand is truly chelated to that mineral, bound in two positions, forming a ring like we want? In that case, we're looking for X-ray diffraction. That method gives us definitive structural properties of the compound. It shows where the atoms are, it shows where the bonds are, and it tells you the true molecular nature of the compound. How can we confirm the product is pure and that we don't just have a mix of partial reaction? In that case, we use thermogravimetric analysis. It lets us know that the ligand is bound and any unbound ligand would show as early decomposition. So it gives us that confidence in purity. And how can we confirm that we have the right product for each commercial lot? We go back to Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy. Lot-to-lot -lot consistency is very well identified using FTIR. So to dive in a little more on X-ray diffraction, if we have our sample A here, which we've labeled as our fully reacted material. We would expect a drawn structure, as you can see in the middle of the screen here. Magnesium with two glycines that, that bond to it and form these rings. And what you can see off to the right is that actual structure. Those are the elements positions based on the x-ray diffraction uh, data. How do we learn that? Well, we run this test and we compare it to a database. And so we can see that our sample A fully reacted has the same structure as magnesium bisglycinate, which is known to be fully reacted. So how can we tell what it looks like when we have partially reacted or unreacted, a simple blend like we do in sample C? Well, if we compare both of those to the magnesium bisglycinate kilomax line, we have that spectra at the top of the graph. It's sort of a pinkish purple color. The unreacted in the bottom is red, and you can see there's many less peaks, and the peaks don't match. Sample B, the partially reacted, we see some that matches both the kilomax bisglycinate and some that sort of matches the unreacted at the bottom. So careful inspection of this X-ray data allows us to determine that both sample C and sample B are not matches and are not fully chelated. Thermogravimetric analysis, or TGA, allows us to tell whether a ligand is fully bound or not. If it's unbound, it will decompose at an earlier temperature. You can see that here in both the partially reacted and unreacted, shown in both green and red. They both have a decomposition that matches that of free glycine, with most of the weight loss beginning just over 200 degrees C. On the blue line, which, are, which is our magnesium bisglycinate, chelate, we don't see that decomposition occurring till nearly 400 degrees C. That stability comes from the reaction. To summarize, the additional testing does confirm the true product. X-ray diffraction confirms the actual structure of the compound. TGA confirms its purity and that it's fully reacted. And Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy produces that fingerprint that shows lot-to-lot -lot consistency. These three tests together confirm the true product and form a gold standard of analytical testing, much more than anyone else in the industry is performing today. On this slide, you can see our Kilomax chelated mineral product family line. 
They're all shown here using a ball and stick configuration from the actual XRD data that was used to prove their chelation. They've all been backed with TGA and FTIR as well. Thank you for joining me today, and I do hope that you'll reach out to learn more about Kelamax and our fully chelated minerals. Once again, I'm Bob Finn, Director of R&D. Thanks for your attention.